Hey guys, so today we are both back. If you missed my last video, this is my boyfriend Gary. Um, we have another snack box today. Everybody seemed to love the last one. So this one is called Snack Surprise. Um, each month they send you a different country's snacks. So there is a small box, an original box and a large box. I believe that this is the original box. It's only $13.99 this one for 10 plus snacks and a drink. The larger box is $23.99 for 20 plus snacks and a drink which I think is super cheap. They also do free shipping to the UK and they do post it worldwide but there's like an additional postage fee for all other countries. So we are going to open this and try all the snacks and give you our opinions and stuff. Um, this month it is for Bulgaria. So all of the snacks and drink and everything are all from Bulgaria. There's a little facts about Bulgaria thing inside. I'll just hold it up in case anyone wants to pause and read it. I'm not going to read them all out though. And then in here it tells you what each box gets. So this one is the mini, this one is the mini and the original. And that is all of the extra ones that you get in the larger box. And then there's also some recipes as well in here for different Bulgarian foods and stuff. So that's what this little booklet is with a crossword on the back. And then in here, this is what all of the snacks look like. So we'll start with the drink first in case something is really gross in there and we need a drink. So this is what it looks like and it's called party drinks and in the little booklet it says lemonade. So I'm going to assume that it's lemon or lemonade. We are both going <gasps> to... <laughs> it's fizzy. <laughs> it's literally like bubbling out of the top. I don't know if you can tell how fizzy that is, but that's insane. Okay, so it just says it's a lemon fizzy drink. Yeah, I mean, it just tastes like lemonade, I would say. It doesn't even taste that fizzy. It looks fizzy, but it tastes flat. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, it's still doing it now. It's bubbling so, so much, but it doesn't taste that fizzy. No, it's like flat. 7 up. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like uh, fizzy water. You know where you. Hate fizzy water. <laughs> like that kind of carbonation. It's weird. But anyway, that is the party drinks lemon drink. Okay, so for the first snack, we're going to do these. And in the little booklet, it says that they're called Zeo Bayo Paprika uh, wheat snacks with finely ground roasted pepper. I love paprika crisps usually. I've got a feeling these are going to be like a paprika what's it. Yeah, they can go either way. Oh yeah, look. Okay, so they look like that. Okay, ready? Yep, yeah. here you go. I don't taste the paprika. They literally mm. taste like cheese puffs. Yeah, I don't taste paprika. They taste like cheese to me. Like a, not even a watsit because they're a bit more airy than a watsit. Like a chickadee. Do you ever have chickadees over here? No. You know, we have chickadees. Taste like one. I mean, they're fine and I'll probably eat them, but like they're not, and I wouldn't say they were what I was expecting, honestly. No, I was expecting a little bit of something off of it, wasn't that. Should we rate things? What do you rate the drink? Out of what, 10? Mm-hmm. Two. Oh, okay. How much do you rate these ones? Um, I'm a five. Yeah. I like chickadees. I, I would like say like a five on the drink, honestly, and like a five on these two. They're okay. Okay, so next we have this, which is a walnut cookie. It says Bulgarian cookie filled with tasty walnuts, apparently. I think that sounds pretty amazing. Yeah, it sounds all right to be honest. I love walnuts. Oh, break that in half. Big one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. 
No. It's not sweet like I was expecting it to be. It tastes kind of savory. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I thought uh, it was going to be like a vanilla-y cookie with walnuts, but it literally tastes like actually walnuts were made into it. <laughs> they were. You know what I mean? Uh, what do you rate this one? Oh, two as well. Not a big two, fan. really? Yeah. Mm. Like, I like walnuts, but it's like there's no taste and then suddenly it all hits you and it's overpowering. Okay, well, I'd give that like a four. I think it's okay. Okay, next we've got something else that kind of looks like a crispy kind of snack. And that is these ones. So these are called, I'm going to butcher this, so I'm sorry in advance, Cubetti Tzatziki or something similar to that. Um, it says they are wheat rye bread cubes that have a flavorful taste of tzatziki. Mm. I don't know what tzatziki is. Me either. But maybe we're just uncultured. They smell... You are, maybe. They I smell am. weird. I'm very cultured. Oh, they smell like sour cream and chive. No, but... You can smell it. No, but... No. Got progress from last time. Why don't you come at me like that? <laughs> okay. They're tight. They look like little tiny croutons. They'd probably be good on a salad, to be fair. You ready? Didn't, yeah. I didn't expect them to be so small. No, me neither. Oh. Very crunchy. Really salty. Mm hmm. Like, really, really, really salty. Yeah. I don't mind them, I like them. I could not eat that bag. I don't know if you're supposed to eat them on their own like this. It says fun a snack, so I'm assuming you're supposed to. But to me, that's like a really super salty, garlicky crouton. Don't mind it. I like it. Okay. What would you rate that one? Seven. I give it a seven. Fair enough. I'm going to give that one a three. I don't really like that one. It's too salty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, we have a little cute cake. It's a little monkey shape. And this one is a Borovets Monkey Cake Banana. So it's basically a sweet cake with creamy banana filling. Kind of like a Barney cake in the UK. Have you had a Barney? A Barney cake? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> like the purple dinosaur kind of Barney? No, Barney the Bear. Never heard of Barney the Bear. There's Barney Bear cakes in the UK and they have like chocolate filling and vanilla filling and all that stuff. Jam filling. So this is the little monkey. It's quite cute, actually. He is very cute. Who gets his head? You can have his head if you want. I'll take his Are head. we just breaking it in half? Do you want that much? Yeah, go on. That's what it looks like inside. It's got like a cream inside. Hmm. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah. Don't sound too impressed. It's okay. It's not bad. It tastes like the banana cakes that I made a little while ago. Your banana cakes were nicer. Thanks. Oh. Good though. Mm-hmm. I don't love banana flavored things, but it's okay. I like it. I'd buy those. I wasn't sure about the middle at first, but it's alright. Mm-hmm. What would you rate that one? Maybe a six. Oh, I'd give that a good eight, I would say. Okay, so next we have this one. The picture looks kind of like a wafery chocolate sort of thing. This is a Cherno Moritz bar and it's crispy wafer covered in crushed peanuts with orange chocolate. I don't know how I feel about this. Mm, I don't love orange chocolate. Same. But it might be okay. Mm. It's a huge bar as well, like it's really thick. I suppose when in Bulgaria. <laughs> Mm -hmm. okay. um, it looks nice, I'll give you that. Oh, we might have to take a bite of this because it's a wafer and it's like crumbly and messy. Do you want to take a bite? Yeah, take a bite. Mm. <laughs> Everywhere. I'm not getting any really um, orange chocolate off it. 
Oh, I am. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I wouldn't. That choose. was really nice. Oh, okay. Mm. I wouldn't choose to buy that, I don't think, but it was okay though. If it was just the wafer and the peanuts, I would have liked it, but the orange was a little too much for me. Uh, what I'm, would you rate that one? I'm going to give that an eight. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'd probably say like a six. I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll stick with the wafers because we have another one. So, but this one is called Mura Black and Brownie. It says it's wafer layered with brownie flavored cream filling, apparently. Sounds promising. It does. This one's not coated in anything, it is just actually like the wafer part itself. Should we just buy it again because. Yeah, well. It's a bit crumbly. Look at that rubbish I got left wow. there. <laughs> it's a real bite. It's actually quite nice though. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Definitely, I'll give that a 10. Yeah, I think that's my favourite so far. I would give that like a 9. You know what you need with that? Some ice cream. Yeah. You'd be good. Dip it in the ice cream. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, that was really nice. Okay, so next we have this one. And this is a Republica Cocoa. It says it's a chocolate bar with chocolate and coconut. Kind of like a bounty, I would assume. I hope so. I love a good bounty. <laughs> that is a controversial... Oh. Like a new guy. It actually can. looks like a Milky Way if you're from the UK. I know my camera's being rubbish today, but it's like really soft. Oh, I really love a Milky Way. So coconut Milky Way would mm. be pretty class. And there's nothing wrong with liking a bounty as well, by the way. Oh, I love bounties. I just, no one else seems to. A bit more choice than I thought it would be, but... Mm. Mm. I feel like it's going to take me a while to eat this. Okay. Fast forward if you like. Mm -hmm. I'll still be <laughs> It is exactly like a bounty, mm -hmm. but smoother and chewier. Basically. Does that make sense? Mm. Good though. Mm. I'd give that a nine as well. About a nine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. It loses a point because it's chewy. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, next we have what looks very suspicious. Just a little tinfoil roll and this is again i'm probably going to butcher this a chaika dessert chaika not sure it says it's a soft fondant core with chocolate okay. it's a, a classic bulgarian dessert apparently it looks very suspicious it does but i'm not sure how i feel about just eating fondant either should we just have it that's yeah. a bit much i feel like Mm. Random whistles. Okay. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this. It's exactly what I thought it would be. It's like the icing of a cake. Just eating pure icing. I like eating the icing of a cake, but I'm not enjoying this. I don't think I'll finish it. No? No, there you go. Big chili. It's okay. <clears throat> Horrible appetizer. It literally just tastes like you're eating icing from a birthday cake. You know, like hard icing. Yeah, after the cake's been left out for two days. Well, I, won't, I won't go that far, but I, would. I don't love it. No. Get to one. <laughs> That's the worst one yet. Yeah. The least enjoyable one yet. Okay. Yep. Um, I wouldn't give it that little. I'd say maybe like a three, but... I'm not um, saying that. Okay. So we've only got three things left. Next we have this one. And this is a Milkis Honey and Milk, which is a soft cake layered with milk and honey, and it's got cream filling, apparently. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks like, like a double-decker custard cream. It does. That's awful. But it's awful. like a cake. A oh, bit of a mushy. It's a bit squashed. Pit. 
show you it when I can get it out of this. I'm trying not to get bits of like cream everywhere. So it kind of looks a bit like pancakes, honestly, with cream in. I think I might have bite this one, Harry. Oh, well, I was just going to give you a chunk. Yeah, I think a chunk. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Cheers. Pretty good. Mm, okay. It tastes like pancake. Mm, a bit too soft for my liking. Mm. Yeah, I quite like that one. It, to me, tastes like pancakes with, like, cream on them. Sort of. I'm getting a slight custard cream vibe from it. Yeah, a little bit. What, um, rating would you give that one? Give it a six. Mm hmm I'd give it maybe like a six or a seven, something like that. Next, we have these. I think they're like sweets, like gummy sweets. Um, oh, Temenuski. No idea how you say that. Do you want to even try? No, you did good. <laughs> you did good. Um, these are the most loved candy, apparently, and they are violet licorice flavor. I <laughs> I love licorice. I also like Parma Violet. Have you ever had a Parma Violet? No, but I despise licorice. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna love this one and you're gonna hate this one if I can even ever get into it. Oh, they're hard. Okay, so the little tiny flowers, which is very cute. It's not a gummy like I thought it was. I'm not excited for this one. I am excited for this one. Are you gonna chew it or or suck it? Well, let's see how it goes down first. Okay. All right. I'm not getting licorice in the slightest, no. not even a little bit. I'm getting Parma Violet though. You know, like that flowery taste. That's what Parma Violet is. Mm. It's just a florally. I'm getting this stuck in my teeth. I bet. <laughs> mm. I like it. Yeah, it's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. No licorice taste, though. No I licorice. Think that's the saving grace. Though. You're thinking of black licorice, and that's a different thing, I think. You know, it's right across the board. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like those. They're okay. Very weird. If you don't like Parma Violets and that sort of floral taste, you definitely won't like it, but mm -hmm. it's fine. They're cute. I like the little flower shape and stuff. I'll eat those. What do you give that one? Um, we'll give it a two. Oh, I'll give that one like a good seven, no, I would no, say. A two for me. Okay. Well, it's because it's, I can't be digging it out of my teeth for the next six hours. Okay, and our last one is this, which is a big, like, it's quite squishy. It's like a chocolate cake brownie sort of thing. And this is called a Madenka. It says it's a popular cake biscuit and it's a honey flavoured biscuit covered in chocolate. I was kind of hoping it would be like a chocolate cake, like yeah. chocolate inside. But. It might still be okay. It looks nice. Yeah, it does. It looks kind of like a, a ginger biscuit. Oh, I'll have this crumbly piece. You take that piece. No worries. Yeah, it looks promising. Okay. Here we go. Cheers. Mm. It tastes like a ginger biscuit. Mm -hmm. There's nothing about that that's honey flavoured to me. It's even got that spice like a ginger biscuit. Not the worst. Not bad at all. Kind of treacly flavoured maybe. Very um, like Halloween flavoured I would say. You know like pumpkin spice kind of. A little bit. Mm, I don't love it. I was hoping it was like some chocolate brownie That's kind of thing. That's quite a lingering aftertaste on it. Mm, not a fan. What would you say for that one? I'll give it a good four. Yeah, I'd probably say like a three or a four as well. So that was everything in the snack surprise box um, with the theme being Bulgaria. I will quickly try, grab it all and show you it all at once. You might have to maybe help with that a little bit because everything is open. Nah. But <laughs> we will show you everything again. So there was the paprika corn crisps. There was the little banana monkey cake that we both liked. 
Yeah, that was good. The little croutony tzatziki flavoured things. Yeah, they were okay. They were fine. I think they need to go on a salad though, personally. They, uh, they need something with it. Mm -hmm. um, the little walnut biscuit. Yeah, it's <laughs> The little soft cake with the honey and the cream. The cake with the chocolate coating that says that it's honey, but we think that it's ginger flavoured. It's definitely ginger. <laughs> Um, we did have the little fondant like chocolate, the brownie wafer, the coconut chocolate bar, the orange chocolate wafer, the little violet sweets, and the lemon drink. So all of these things in the snack surprise box. Um, I think it was really good. For $13.99 for all of this stuff, I think that is yeah, I wouldn't be disappointed. super fun to try. Like, different things each month from different countries and stuff. Always nice to try them. Even if you don't like them, it's nice to see, like, what other countries have and everything. Um, so, yeah, I will put all of the details for them down below in case you want to go and check them out. And I hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys. See you.